Hi, it's, whoa, Joel, I almost fell over there. As you know, this is the OpenR CF1 that's been scaled up just a bit. And you can see that I have a motor right here, but this piece had to be redone. The motor needs to travel further that way because these GT2 belts need to be able to, to grip this and this, and they're not tight enough. So I made more travel in this direction. We're gonna install it and see if it works. I'm Joel. This is 3D Printing Nerd! Welcome back. First, before we put this piece in, we need to actually get out that piece. And in order to do that, we have to take this part out, which I've already done. Love this piece. With that part out of the way, now we need to take off this part right here. And there's one, two, and I believe three screws underneath. I'm going to undo those. Let's see if everything still works. Ah, uh, it's going to lefty loosey righty tighty And I didn't put one in the back. And I do have one right here. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's, okay. There we go. That's out, which means this should be able to slide out and off, maybe. I think I have to take this off first. Oh my goodness. Okay. This uh, is a little fragile right here. I did have to gloop it up to attach it. It should hold, but just in case, I think when we run, I'm going to marry this to this because then it'll be a little bit sturdier. And then doo -doo -doo, that comes off. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. That'll turn. That'll turn. Fantastic. So this is, each one of these is held in by two bolts or two giant screws, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so the nut is spinning inside of there, which means I need to jam it from this side to keep it from spinning. You know, when it's at this size, it is not the easiest thing to take apart. So now I can take that off. Uh, while I'm here, I'm just gonna put this one back in because I don't need to take it off. I just need to take off that one. Sometimes I need a little bit more caffeine in my day to get going. Apparently, this isn't, this isn't easy. There's our motor mount right there. Let's get the bushing out. Um, oh, this one already came out. That one came out. Good. Let's take a look. Here we go. Here's the, the green one is what was on there. The yellow one is what I'm gonna put on. So if you look, match these right up, you can see some green through there. And that's because I needed more travel in that direction. So the motor should be able to be tighter in that direction. That's what we're doing. Let's hope the motor fits. Hope the bushing fits. Yes. And the nuts go in just fine. Fine as frog hair. I'll put these back in the motor for now so I don't lose them. I will. And then we can tighten it down all snug when it's time. Just getting it all buttoned up. White to white. Red to red. Black to black. Motor's hooked up. Let's get a belt. We think this will work, but here's how it goes. This GT2 belt will go around and hook up right there. And then because of these extra holes, I'll be able to tighten it up. It should be just fine. Now I can get out the sockets. Here we go. We should see if it uh, works. First time for everything. Motor is in, GT2 belt is in. Turns the motor, everything is attached. Let's put a battery in it and see what happens. I'm really curious. Let me get the battery. That's the battery. There's another battery in here for the servo. We don't really need that right now. We just wanna see if this spins 
because the people didn't think this belt would work or maybe it would strip or something. So I believe I can connect this up right here. Radio's on, it's on, okay. <laughs> oh man, okay. Welcome to OpenTX. And it talks Throttle to warning. me. Pressing, okay, throttle not idle, so it needs to be centered. Switch warning. Ah, we've got it. There we go. <laughs> I forgot, it's got reverse. Okay, put it back to zero before I break something. Oh, wow, it worked. It worked. I don't, I don't smell any burning. It's alive! Okay, it's plastic on plastic. We might need to get some lubricant there, but hey, we're at this point. This is fantastic. Thanks for watching. This will roll on its own power. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got it this far. You guys, it's here, it's here. I gotta get with um, Adam and Robert. We got to get the camera set up. Jerry, Barnacle's Nerdgasm wants to be a part of it. We'll get this out to a place where we can actually have some room and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, all that stuff. Don't forget to talk to each other more. I love you guys as always, high five.